In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of connecting a Azure Blob Storage account with the Diagnostics Log. Now, uh, I have already created a website, as you see, uh, named as Ruby over here. Now, I'll click on Edit. So once I do that edit, I will be in an edit mode for that website. Now, this is how the website looks. Uh, if I go in the Setup section, I will see some basic information about the site. Now, how do we uh, configure a uh, diagnostic logs? Okay, so I may need to go into the admin center. So the moment I click on open admin center, I will be directed to this page. Okay, so this is how the admin center page for my website looks like. Now, if you see under site actions, okay, so under site actions, if I click on it, I will see something called as enable diagnostic log. Okay. So diagnostic logs are basically uh, an information about a website's uh, logging procedure uh, with regards to errors, warnings, informations, those sort of things. So mostly it is for uh, error troubleshooting. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a CSV file, okay, which gets generated. Now, on this panel, there is an option to uh, select a retention period. So by default, the retention period is 30 days, but you can make it 180 or it, it can be infinite. Okay. Uh, however, the main question is where do we offload this logs? Okay. So we need to have something, some references in Azure. Okay. Now what we can do is one is go to navigate to Azure and then search for something called as the storage account. Okay. The moment you do that, you will be landed in the page of storage account. You click on create and then you can create a storage account to offload your Azure logs. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire process because I already have created a basic standard uh, LRS focused uh, storage account, which is already present over here. So as you see here, SA Opal site store is my uh, storage account. Okay, so you just need to create the storage account. And um, then what you need to do is you need to uh, go into this part, you know, like called as an access key. Uh, in access key, uh, you will see two keys, key one, key two, and there's a connection string available over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on show and I got a connection string over here. I just copy to clipboard. Okay. Then go into the uh, diagnostic logging screen and then paste the Azure storage connection string. Okay. Now I'm not going to click on enable as of now, because I want to show you uh, like, uh, in in storage explorer that uh you know uh, like this is the azure storage explorer i am in my subscription and uh i have this storage account created okay now within the storage account you will see blob containers okay so you'll see the blob containers now when you create it from blank you will not see any folder over here but you know i have already used this blob container that's why i can see all this four folder here the moment you click on enable uh you will uh, see that one folder gets created for power pages called as telemetry dash logs okay now the container gets created and within that container you will see the information about your site okay so i'm just closing this window uh, and I click on it and then you will see some folders. Okay. Now why I'm seeing two folders is because I have already connected two site to this diagnostic, uh, two sites, diagnostic logging, uh, in Azure. Okay. So now if I enable the third site, then I should see another folder over here. Okay. So let me go into this and click on enable. Okay. The moment you do that, uh, technically, it will do that connection between uh, Azure and the Power Pages, and uh, you should see some uh, more uh, containers being created. Okay, so if I navigate to Azure, I'll go to telemetry dash logs, then uh, technically, uh, you should see some information being rendered uh, in this particular folder. Okay, now let me go into the Storage Explorer. And let me show you how it looks like, you know. Uh, now, let's assume this is the telemetry log folder for your website. Okay, if I click on it, uh, I will see a year folder. I'll see a month folder. 
and uh, I will see a date folder. Okay, so in the month folder, I'll see a date folder. So this is DD. So let's see what happened on 31st. And I will see hourly uh, information as well. So from 0 to 23. Okay, uh, so let me see uh, what happened on 6 16th hour. Okay, then I'll see some CSV. This CSV I can go and download. Okay, or maybe I can see the preview in this storage explorer itself okay so if i click on preview over here i will see the log information okay so this is how you will see the log information uh in the storage explorer now the log information is date level application id instance id uh, event ticket and then on the right hand side you will see some text based information so that's the message so if you expand this further let me expand this uh, i can show you that uh, some error has happened in the website you know and then this is that information okay now you can also download this information so it will ask you to download this information in a csv file and uh, maybe i'll just say click on desktop and say select folder okay so this csv file will get downloaded on my uh, desktop and i can open that csv file so let me open that csv file quickly yep now this is how the csv file looks like okay and if you want to do some sort of troubleshooting activities you can go ahead and do that uh, now, if you see, it will give you enough information like correlation ID, session ID, uh, the path uh, of the error, and you know, like it will give you some clues so that you can go ahead and troubleshoot your uh, errors. Okay. Okay. So now coming back to the site. Yep. So now, if you see earlier, there were only two folder. Now, when I clicked on refresh, this third folder appeared. Okay, so this was the third folder. So if I click on it, click on 2023, 6 and 1. Now this is the telemetry for the, uh, the site which I have connected. Okay, so, so essentially what we have done is we have connected a Power Pages site and we have enabled the diagnostics logging. Okay, now what if I want to disable the diagnostic logging? Again, you need to go into site actions, click on disable diagnostic logging. Okay. Now, what if you want to uh, say use another Azure service or another storage account? Okay. Yes, you can do that. You can click on update diagnostic logging configuration. And the moment you click on this checkbox, it will ask you to add a connection string and then you can replace the old connection string with a new connection string. And then from that point onwards, all the diagnostic log will get stored in the another storage account okay so <clears throat> so that's it folks uh thanks for watching this video i hope this video brings a uh, value in your uh, learning about power pages okay i'll see you in my next video thank you